Here you see a spotted burfish carefully hidden under a ledge. This is a very shy fish, and even if you see him initially outside swimming along, he or she will hide under a ledge rather quickly. When you look closely, you'll see why this one was hiding originally, and that is because it's in the process of being cleaned by two yellow-nosed gobies. They're working the head and then into the mouth. Next, we, are, we came upon a octopus. The octopus was um, spotted, and it could tell it was, so it began to get itself away from us. You'll notice that after it swims, it lies on a rock and changes color in order to make itself look as much like the rock as possible. On the second swim, it moved on to another rock, settled itself completely, and turned into the rock. came upon a small, probably about a 16-inch turtle, who allowed us to get very close, and we followed it for a while. This one was untagged. Typically, most of the turtles we see here in Bonaire have already been tagged. This may be the largest green moray I have ever seen. Fortunately, the view is not completely clear because of sand being moved around, but it must have been between six and seven foot long. In this picture, if you look closely in the very middle of the screen, you'll see a small white fish hovering over the rocks, going up and down. This is a yellow-headed jawfish. There are actually two or three in this picture. If you look to the left, you'll see another small one, which is not quite as easily visible. I looked to see if any of these had eggs, but they did not. The male yellow-headed jawfish puts the uh, eggs in its mouth for safekeeping until they mature. Here's a close-up.